yes, this is this is the color. Yes, absolutely perfect. Mm, yes. Please, stop. What is it? Why in the world would you ever choose those horrendous colors? Oh, I'm just a programmer. Stop! Right now! What? That's not an excuse for choosing colors that look like absolute garbage. 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 Look, I haven't gone to art school. I haven't studied color hey, theory. Hey, hey, put your glasses what? back on. Calm down, my friend. All right. You don't need an art degree to add nice looking colors to your game. Look, come follow along with me and you will learn how to make your game look amazing. Absolutely tip top. Mm. Whoo. Simply by using a nice color palette. But first, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore, real projects to create, and the support of fellow creatives, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. If you want to dig deeper into the topic of color theory, for example, I would highly recommend that you go check out the Skillshare original called Intro to Graphic Design Expressing Emotion with Color Theory. Oh, maybe there's still some hope for me. Yes, there's even hope for you, you dumb dumb. So what are you waiting for? The first 500 of you who click the link in the description will get two free months of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. Let's first take a look at the color wheel. The color wheel is an amazing tool for picking and understanding colors. The one you see right now is from Unity. The ring depicts all hues. Just think of hues as being colors. The hues on the left side of the ring are what's called cool colors, hues like green, blue, and purple. On the other side, we have the warm colors, colors like yellow, orange, and red. We can change the shade of each hue by manipulating the intensity or saturation and value or brightness of the hue. We can see these sliders by changing the mode from RGB to HSV for hue, saturation and value. Playing with the saturation and value of colors is a huge step towards creating nice looking colors that work well together. In most cases, having only extremely bright and saturated colors can become quite exhausting to look at, as can be seen by what Dum Dum did. Uh, yes. When talking about what colors work well together, we have to talk about color harmonies. Now, this will be very brief. Check the links in the description if you really want to bathe yourself in color harmonies. So first off, we've got monochromatic, which is just a single color. It is very nice for creating a really atmospheric effect, just like in Firewatch, where everything is quite orangey and fiery. Though take note of how the colors shift towards blue when they get darker and shift toward yellow when they get brighter. This makes it much more pleasing to look at. If you've ever seen a sunset in real life, for example, you can see that there is a nice shift towards blue the darker the sky becomes. Alright, next up we've got complementary colors. Here we've got two colors that are directly opposite of each other on the color wheel. This results in a nice contrast and with maximum pop. There are even more color harmonies that we could talk about, but uh, let's just continue and talk about clarity. Clarity is when there's a good contrast between important objects in your game like a character and enemies. For instance, in this screenshot from the platformer game Flinthook, we can first off see that they use complementary colors and also that there is a clear contrast between the background and objects. Very nice. In the game Downwell, we see only the use of three colors, black, red and white. It doesn't get more contrasty than black and white, so it is completely clear what's going on. In addition to this, we see some very nice use of the red accent color. It's clear where it is dangerous or safe to hit an enemy, and it's very clear where all the gems are. Very nice. Alright, so here's my color palette checklist. So first off, it has to be clear. There has to be a nice contrast between the background and the foreground, where all the objects and, you know, coins and enemies are. It also has to be quite simple. There's no need to have an excessive amount of colors. That, that will just uh, clutter everything. And as you can see, in Downwell, three colors did the job perfectly. And at last but not least, the color palette has to be aesthetically pleasing. 
and it becomes that if it uses, uh, you know, color harmony that we just talked about. All right, having all of this in mind, let's help Dum Dum with this mess of colors. All right, so let's take a look at Dum Dum's horrible color situation. So we got this plain game, and it's about uh, dodging uh, missiles and stuff. But if we pause, let's take a look at the colors. There's four different colors on the plane. Uh, the smoke has its own color, and uh, the background is absolutely horrible. And look at this. <laughs> the missile has blue, red, and yellow, and they are all fully saturated. Amazing, amazing job, Dum Dum. Very good. Nicely done. So let's try to help him with uh, choosing a better color palette. So we want it to be clear and we want it to be simple and we want it to be aesthetically pleasing. So let's see what we can do. All right, take a look at these tools. So we got color.adobe.com, which is a very nice tool for creating good color palettes quickly. So as you can see over here on the left, we've got all these different kinds of color harmonies that we talked about earlier. And then you can play around with the colors by, you know, changing these parameters and changing the value, the saturation, everything. And already this kind of looks pretty good. But if you play around with it, you can get something mm, very nice. And you can even explore other color palettes that users have created. So let's see. Um, these are very blue and yellow. But what if we type in desert? Very nice. Mmm, beautiful. Ooh, that's beautiful. Do you see that? Wow. Whew. All right. Another website is uh, Lustpack, and it has a nice list of color palettes. So this website is mainly focused on pixel art. And uh, if you do that kind of thing, then it's very nice. And I think I'm actually going to use color palette from this website and apply it to the plane game. So let's see what we got. Very beautiful. Oh, I like this one. This is very nice. And I think it would look pretty good on the plane game. So let's, uh, let's try it out. All right, so this is the color palette that I ended up with. I think it's very nice. Um, I tried to make the background this color right here, this pink color, but I didn't think that worked out very well. So I just made the, the background the, the, dark, uh, the dark color, and then I added an extra uh, shadow color. And now the plane and the, and the missiles only have two colors. They have this accent, this pink color and this white main color. And I think it looks very pleasing, very nice. And it is much better than the uh, color palette that uh, was used before by Dum Dum. So that is very nice. So all in all, I would recommend that you take inspiration from this palette list, for example, or you use Paletten or Adobe.color to create your own color palettes. And you can also explore all sorts of different color palettes on Adobe Color as well. So Apple, for example. What does that show us? Wow, very cool. So just use a color palette and your game will look beautiful in no time. Thank you for watching.